you again. Okay, today we are looking into verse 5 and verse 6 of the Address to a Haggis by Robert Burns. And in verse 5, um, Robert Burns talked about all the other types of fancy foods that people might eat. And he thinks, what is the point in eating all those things, all those dishes, trying all those things, when you've got something so wonderful as a haggis to feast um, yourself upon? So, um, you know, and he thinks, why would you even, why would you look at the haggis? do why would you look at haggis and go oh, for goodness sake a naughty thing that you know because well i love haggis um uh, but you know it's it's not everyone's cup of tea but robert burns was very fond of it so let's hear what he has to say in verse five is that our it's french ragu or olio that would so a sue or a fricassee oh that would We perfect scorner, looks down, we sneer in scorn for view, on sick a dinner. Okay, you ready? So I'll do the same as we've done before, holding the words up, I'll say a line and then you say a line after me. I hope you can see that. Okay, ready? Is that our, his French ragu? Your turn. Is that our, his French ragu? Good. Or olio that would saw a saw a sou? Your turn. Or olio that would saw a sou? Good turn. Good job. Okay, next line. Or fricassee that would mock her spew? Your turn. Or fricassee that would mark her spew. Good. We perfect sconer. Your turn. We perfect sconer. Good. And this is when he's a bit shocked. Looks down. We sneer in scorn for view. Your turn. Looks down. We sneering scorn for view. Good. Last one. On sick at dinner. On sick at dinner. So those are the words. Come back to the video, pause it, and just have a wee practice. Okay, good job. All right. So I said two verses a day. Um, I know it's a lot, um, but we'll have a look into verse six just now. Okay, so. Um, oh, I will recite it first, won't I? Right, okay, I'll recite it first. Right, listening. Um, now this is, sorry, this is going on, actually, before I lash into it, um, about how someone who doesn't eat haggis maybe doesn't get to be big and strong and and um, able to work hard you know they're maybe a bit poorly and thin and don't have much energy um, and m not many muscles or you know they're not big and strapping like a haggis eater so this is the verse that sort of compares the non-haggis eater with the haggis eater okay poor deal see him out as trash as Thickless is a withered rush. His spindle shank, a geed whiplash. His neve, a knit. Through bloody flood or field to dash. Oh, pff, how unfit. Okay. Your turn this time. I was ahead of myself before. So I'll hold him up again. I'll say a line. You say a line. Poor deal. See him our his trash. Your turn. Poor deal. See him or his trash. Good. As feckless as a withered rash. Your turn. As feckless. Well done. His spindle shank, 
Agid Whiplash. That's his leg. So your turn. Your spindle shank. Agid Whiplash. Good. His knee. A knit. His knee. A knit. Good job. Last bit. Through bloody flood or field to dash. Your turn. Through bloody flood or field to dash. Oh, how on fit. Your turn. Oh, how on fit. Good. Okay, I'll just hold it up for a little bit longer and you can come back and see those words. Okay. Pause it. Right. Now, that's a lot. We've got to verse six. We only have two more verses to do and I will see you next time to go over the words, those. Okay. Happy practicing. Take care.